Paul. All right, tonight, St. Louis leaders are celebrating diversity in the city with a pride event downtown. Our Sydney Stallworth is live for us this morning. She's near St. Louis City Hall, where legends in St. Louis's LGBTQ plus community will gather tonight. And Sydney, you say that this celebration comes at a very crucial time. Rennie, Michelle, that's exactly right. You know, all morning our newsroom has been combing through the latest data from the FBI on hate crimes. And right now, attacks based on gender identity are up over 30%. Attacks based on sexual orientation are up almost 14%. But tonight's event here at City Hall behind me is all about celebrating the successes of the LGBT plus community in the face of this adversity. They say so there's a lot to be positive about. Let's get into what's happening later on tonight right here at City Hall in the Rotunda. 12 hours from now, lawmakers will honor the people who've made significant contributions to the St. Louis LGBTQ plus community. Tonight's event is all about diversity, Unity and acceptance. There's going to be food, drinks, and live music by LGBTQ plus artists from six to eight this evening in the rotunda. The event is free and everyone is welcome. Now tonight is also an awards ceremony, guys, with several advocates and board members being recognized for their advocacy, like Randy Rather. He's well known in our community and he's visible with his community work. And just last week, as you see, Rather was part of our Five on Your Side Gateway to Pride panel at the Missouri History Museum. Now, there are plenty of other Pride events happening this month right here in St. Louis, like the Grand Pride Parade that's happening downtown. Now, we're going to map out the parade route and tell you who's taking the stage in our next half hour. But for now, that's the very latest from here downtown. I'm Sydney Stallworth, 5 on your side.